Yeah, I started this farm so I wouldn't have idiots getting in my way. That will be all. Hello everyone. Today we're going to find out the value of this, your field. That's right, just the field. All the stuff that grows in it, I want to see what that's actually worth. Once it overgrows the entire thing, fills the whole thing up. I honestly have no idea. Someone posed this question to me a couple weeks back, and I decided it's time to find out. One thing that I've already realized is that we're halfway through fall already, and come winter, everything gets deleted. The snow moves in, everything disappears, aside from trees. And currently, I don't have any trees, so I'm just going to skip ahead to the start of spring. Hopefully, some trees start to pop up, and the field will start to get full of debris. There are, of course, a few things that the snow will not take care of, like the kegs. And while I'm at it, might as well just take care of everything else right here. So this is my field currently, no trees, a little bit of debris. I wonder how many years it's going to take to actually complete this. Really not looking forward to this because this is actually going to take a long time. I really hope that in all the years it takes to do this idea that my little kid actually turns into something useful. It's the last day of fall today, I just want to do a quick look around to see if there's any trees sprouting. That's kind of the best case scenario because if there's a tree starting to grow, it'll grow over winter and really start reproducing in spring. Unfortunately, so far, it's mostly just grass, which is completely useless to me at this point because it's going to disappear tomorrow and there's no trees to be found. I'm pretty sure they can start growing over winter though. I would plant a few myself, but I want to do this naturally. All the way back around to spring already, it is the first today, so I'm going to go see if there's any trees out there. There's actually a surprising amount of debris in my field. I didn't expect there to be this much already, so that's a good start. Really need some trees though, because they'll multiply, they'll do the bulk of the work, and they're probably the most valuable thing out here, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Aha, the first tree. Right here. So what trees do is drop their pine cones, those turn into trees around them, and they multiply from there. There's another one. Let's see how many others we have. We have one here, that is the third tree, there's a fourth one sprouting there, and I think that's it. That's okay though, four trees will turn into a lot more over the course of time, we'll check in again in summer. And they're multiplying. Great. Today's the first day of summer at least, so let's see what the progress is going on our field. The grass is definitely taking over, but I want more debris than grass. I should probably clarify what I'm going to consider my field being full. And what I'm going to consider is not grass, I want more debris and trees everywhere. The grass multiplies really fast and I've already done a grass field before. I want to see more debris, more wood, more rocks. That tree's full, it's expanding, that's one season, so this one's probably done about the same. No, that tree's a loner, no big deal. We have another tree up here and I think we'll have another tree or two down here because there was one earlier, there's one by the pond, so probably another year and I might actually be ready to go with this because there'll be enough debris around. It's all about those trees. The more trees that sprout up and make it through winter, the more they'll produce next year. Alright, the first day of fall and the kids are strategically placed to get in the way as always. And more grass. Some of the sticks and rocks are actually starting to overtake my path. I didn't think they would actually do that, but they do. Still not the trees I want though, the trees are more so down here. You know what? I've just had a great realization. If you start a brand new farm, the field is basically already full, plus you have the added advantage of not having a wife and kids anymore, so this is perfect. It's not quite full enough though, so I'm going to leave it till maybe the end of this year and then it should be nice and full because look at all those trees, look at all those rocks, look at all those weeds. First day of summer in my little freedom farm, let's see how we're looking. Marnie's here unfortunately, I don't want any visitors. Marnie, go away, take the dog with you. Again, we're still pretty heavy on the grass. I want a little more debris in there, so we're going to skip ahead to fall, see how it looks then. First day of fall, I feel like we've got a few more trees out there, which is just what I wanted. A little bit more debris, so I'm going to head for about the end of fall and start harvesting the stuff then. We'll see the value. What do you get for doing nothing? Well, here we are, the 26th of fall. I didn't want to get all the way to the end because I like to leave myself a few days wiggle room because I know myself. I'm always miscalculating things, so give it a few extra days. Here we are, the field is very very full, we got lots of grass, lots of wood, a really good spread of things. So we're going to harvest this, see what it's worth, but before we start we need a silo, otherwise all this grass isn't going to go anywhere and we need that grass for its value. Also, mushroom tree. So let's go see a ginger about a silo. You know what my favorite part about your first visit to Robin is? The unskippable cutscene. Just what I want after all this grinding. Alright, using all the cheats I possibly can to make this as fast as possible because I'm getting annoyed with how long this is taking, we have all the stuff we need. 100 stone, 10 clay, 5 coppers. 1 silo. Hopefully there's actually a spot to build this. I'm really hoping I could squeeze it in right there. Good enough. I'm really glad of that. I really didn't want to have to go back and chop some space. And it's built instantly, so we're going to skip over to tomorrow and then start harvesting everything. I'm skipping ahead to tomorrow, that way I save my progress for today because I don't want to even repeat this day because I'm getting really annoyed with this stupid idea so fast. 
fast. The big day is finally here, so I gotta be careful about how I harvest this. Normally I would just use a bunch of bombs, but that actually just destroys pretty much everything and I don't get the resources. So I'm going to use a scythe for the hay, that way it goes into the silo. I've got to be careful I don't max out the silo, otherwise I'll lose value there. So it'll be the scythe for the hay, i got to uh, hit every piece of wood with the axe, that way I get the wood value, and use the pick for the stones, that way I get the stone value. And again, I'm cheating through this, I've got one hit break on, so one hit with the axe, knocks the tree down, another hit, gets the rest of it. That's going to save me a lot of time, even with my basic axe. I forgot that I'll occasionally get geodes from the rocks too, but I don't think I'm actually going to process those. Well, maybe I actually will. I guess to get the true value, you've got to get the maximum value for everything in your field. So yeah, I'm going to process those however many I get. I'll take them to the blacksmith tomorrow and add it to my value. I've also added a chest for storage because I needed to get my upgraded tools to break some of this stuff. Despite being one hit kill, you still need upgraded tools for the upgraded trees and rocks. One thing it's important to note while doing this, if you're going to cut down a mushroom tree, cut it away from your pond. Otherwise it falls in and you don't get anything from it. I got one mushroom from it, but I could have gotten a little more, and that's probably going to be a big part of the value here, because this stuff's probably pretty useless. I definitely didn't realize this was going to take this long when I started this idea. This is one of those ones where I thought it would be really quick and easy to do. Nope, actually taking me a long, long time to do this. I've kind of changed my strategy a bit though. If I use my scythe to get all the weeds and grass, I should be able to bomb everything else and not actually lose anything as long as I'm careful about it. I'm actually not sure about these small pieces of wood. I'm going to have to give those a test before I do it. But hopefully that's the case, because this will be a lot faster if I can just sight everything and then bomb the rest. This corner of the field seems to be a lot more trees, whereas the other lower right corner seemed to be a lot of rocks. I'm not sure if that's a coincidence or that's the way it naturally spawns. But this is kind of handy, because I just got to take care of a few weeds and grass in between, and I should be able to bomb the rest. I just noticed that as I was cutting the grass, it's no longer going into the silo, so I need to go and get another silo, because my first one's already full. Not a big deal because I'm pretty much done all the grass. There's just this little pocket here, so one more silo should do the trick. Almost done. I can't wait. And for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put everything into the bin because I don't need any of this stuff right now, and I need some room for the ingredients to make the next silo. All right, Robin, one of your finest stone structures. We're going to put it right here because we have room for it now. And since I have a pretty empty backpack right now, we're going to try a little experiment with a cherry bomb to see if this wood gets destroyed or just turned up. So it does get turned up, that means all I gotta do is finish scything the grass and weeds and then I can bomb everything and that'll be so easy at that point. I can't wait, I am so over this idea. So after about a million hours of swinging my scythe, I think I've pretty much got all the weeds and stuff out with a few little exceptions like this spot here. So I'm gonna call it good enough, I'm gonna put this stuff in the bin, that way it's all collected neatly in there and then start bombing everything, cause I wanna get this done. For anyone that doesn't know, if you want to clear your field in a hurry, use a bunch of bombs. It is a million times faster than cutting everything down manually. Look at it all just fall down. No problem. Then everything's just there for me to collect. I've actually got so much wood that I'm turning into Marnie. I'm actually going to need to put some of this into my chest because I can't actually carry anymore. So I'm going to make a little deposit and start back at it again. Alright, actually getting full of crap again looking at it, so I'm going to make another deposit and then I've still got some of the hardwood stumps, a few stragglers and the big rocks left, but that'll take no time at all because I'm moving so quick. These big rocks actually give you a lot of rocks, I've never realized that. I always smash them and don't care about them because I just want them out of the way, but they're actually a really good source of stone. Right, I think I've got everything out of the field finally, so that was about three months worth of growth from a new farm, and look at it, it's all clear, pretty sure I got it all. Gonna put everything into my chest, collect the geodes, go see Clint, go process those, see what we get, and then we'll sell everything all together. That's what we're looking at so far, only 4 geodes, but 1 mushroom, 384 stones, several thousand wood, what do we got, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and a half thousand wood, 86 hardwood, blah blah blah, let's go see Clint. Uh, unless today is a festival of course, we'll wait for tomorrow. Alright, let's hope for some massive value out of these few geodes, I barely even have enough money to process these. More stones, who doesn't want that? And a green thing, and more stones, and more stones, and a brown thing. Okay, well those are going to be a little bit of value, probably more value than the rest of the crap I got. Let's go back to the farm and sell everything. So there's no real strategy for this, I just got to be careful to only sell things that I collected from my field. So those mega bombs, I'm actually just going to throw in the garbage, otherwise they're liable to wind up in there too. And those are valuable, so that would really skew the results. Okay, only the acorns left after this. Oh, and then the hay out of the silos. I cannot forget that as well. Really curious to see what the actual value of this is. You spend so much time making and expanding crops. Maybe there's good value just in letting the field grow and then harvesting that. How do you take the hay out of here? Or can you not take the hay out of here? I can't remember. I can't remember, but I think you might actually need a barn to be able to get the hay out of there. 
I'm drawing a real blank here. So we're just going to go ahead and make a barn anyway. We're going to warp up to the, uh, what's it called? Carpenter and then make a barn. Unless of course, Rob is not here because it's Sunday and I'm just not going to bother even doing the hay then. That's fine. We'll pretend it doesn't exist. We'll see what the value of everything else is. I remember that the hay is basically worth nothing anyway from when I did my grass field. So let's just see what the value of everything else is. Forget the hay. It doesn't exist. Got some kind of achievement. So the foraging, about 4,000. Everything else, uh, about 16,000 gold for the entire thing. That's not actually too bad considering you don't put any effort into making it. Harvesting it definitely takes a while, but overall, that's not too bad. You can definitely do a lot better, but you can also do a lot worse by doing some bad crops, small crops, stuff like that. There's a breakdown of it, mostly in the wood value. The hardwood value is pretty good. And this is all at level zero skills too. So if you had higher skills, you get more value for things. You get the idea. So yay, I'm rich. Almost 16,000 gold from doing nothing. That was an interesting experiment. Took a lot longer than I wanted it to, and I've still got to edit it. So whatever. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.